Hi guys! Welcome back and marhaba! Today I'm going to do a really fun video sharing all of my favorite fragrances to make you feel like an Arabian prince or princess. So, true story, this is a really hard video to make because I love so many beautiful fragrances that do make me feel like an Arabian princess. I love Arab perfumes and I love ouds. So I actually have a table over here of about 25 fragrances that I shortlisted, which now we're gonna narrow down. So I'm gonna start with the first one. To be honest, this one's probably a little bit overused, but I have to talk about it because I do think it's probably one of the most powerful, most delicious. Pull it up. This is Oud Asfahan by Christian Dior, and this is their private collection. And this, this fragrance is insanely delicious, amazing, and long-lasting, super projecting. One of the strongest fragrances I've smelt in my entire life. Like, if you want a fragrance to last you all day, all night, and until you wash your clothes, and even your body, this is definitely my go-to. And it does smell, to me, like an Arabian princess or prince like Hassan actually wears this a lot and I love it on him I love this perfume I went through an era of like where I used to wear this every single day with many others of course because I always layer but I think this is like my third or fourth bottle obsessed so I actually also love the name Asfahan I have been to the city of Asfahan in Iran so I don't know if that's where the inspiration came from and I actually remember it's smelling so delicious because everywhere I went there was like lots of saffron used everywhere lots of beautiful flowers like it's just such a beautiful fragrant city and it was one of my best memories of my trip to Iran. So I love the city. So I, I don't know if, that were, if that's where the inspiration came from, but super cool. It was launched in 2012 and the nose is Francois de Machi. And the top notes are labdamum and the mid notes are rose, patchouli, saffron, probably from Asfahan. And the base notes are argwood, which is oud, sandalwood, and cedar. Honestly, this fragrance is divine. It's probably one of the most memorable fragrances I've ever smelled. Like, it stands out. Like, you know when somebody's wearing it. It stands out a mile away. It's so recognizable, so strong, and just honestly, I, I think it's addictive. I know for some people, if you don't like strong fragrances, this is not for you. I know some people find it a little bit too powerful, but if you do want a super strong fragrance in your face, this is definitely the one to wear. So the next fragrance we're gonna talk about is called Shagaf Oud and it's from the brand Swiss Arabian. And true story, I actually never smelt this perfume until we launched Sweet Diamond and I saw so many reviews saying it smells so similar. I don't think they're similar, but of course like for me, I'm probably a little bit more, you know, I smell things all day, so I'm probably a little bit more distinct with like recognizing notes, but it is a beautiful fragrance. I'm really happy people brought it up because it got me to try this. It's also really, it's a good price point. So I love that it's a more affordable Arabian princess or prince smell. So we don't have the information on the launch date or the nose. This is a local brand from the UAE. Shout out to UAE brands, yay! But let me read the notes. We have saffron, argwood, oud, rose, and then the base notes are argwood again, oud, and praline and vanilla. Maybe it was like the saffron and rose that people kind of got reminded of Sweet Diamond, but it's absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. And I love that it's really affordable, so it like makes me feel like I can really shower all over myself. I'll put it everywhere. So the next one I'm gonna share is a fragrance by Calvin Klein, and this is from the Euphoria collection, and this one is called Pure Gold. And I do think they made this for the region, for the Middle East. I, I could be wrong, but I, I think it's very Middle Eastern. So this one was launched in 2017. Top notes are dates, which obviously we eat in the region all the time. Solar notes and neroli. Middle notes are almond, ylang ylang, orange blossom, and rose. And the base notes are leather, vanilla, benzoin, patchouli, and musk. For me, it's like the dates, the leather, the musk, the patchouli, the vanilla. I find it to be very like Middle Eastern. It doesn't have oud listed, so I guess it doesn't have oud specifically, but to me, it is very like Middle Eastern. I love it. It's very long lasting, very projecting. And to be honest, I love the whole Calvin Klein Euphoria collection. I love the original Euphoria so much. I think it's a really beautiful fragrance. All right guys, just a reminder not to forget to subscribe to my channel. I see you watching. You better hit that subscribe button. Next fragrance I wanna share is by Montal Paris and this is called Oud Queen Roses. And I do have to say, I think this whole entire brand was developed to cater to Middle Eastern style perfumes. Like almost all of them have lots of Ooh, lots of amber, lots of really like ambery notes. So I think the whole brand is like, if you wanna look for something to make you feel like an Arabian princess or prince, brand is a great place to start. It's also a really good price for value. 
it's a 100 ml bottle and the price is not too bad you can search online you can find different people to offer it at better rates but um i think i got my full collection off of noon.com and pretty decent price like everything on average was around 60 to 100 dollars, which is not bad for oud fragrances um and i like that the bottle is tin so it's like break proof easy to travel with oud queen roses by montal is a floral woody musk it was launched in 2007 and the nose behind this fragrance is pierre montal who's also the founder of the brand so i think that's super cool that he's an actual nose he's creating these mixtures honestly that's like a dream of mine maybe one day they don't have too many ingredients shared but they've mentioned argwood oud rose leather hibiscus and patchouli but honestly this is This to me reminds me of like when I used to go to Wafi Mall all the time in Dubai. If you guys have been to Dubai, you probably, you might know it. It's like, it was so cool like 20 years ago. It's not as popular nowadays, but it's like the whole theme is like Egyptian pyramid style. So it's like very like Middle Eastern. It's a really beautiful, luxurious mall. This reminds me of that mall so much. Mm, love it. So the next fragrance we're going to talk about is Elixir 11 from Kayali. And honestly speaking, we don't have oud in this fragrance, but a lot of people have sometimes said it smells very like oudy, woody, Middle Eastern. And the whole brand of Kali was created to make you feel like a princess or prince. And it has a lot of inspiration from my Middle Eastern roots. So that's why I'm gonna definitely include a few of our Kali fragrances in these videos. But this one is definitely super special. It was the first fragrance we developed and it was the hero of collection one. So you're meant to wear it and layer different scents with it on top. But I find it so powerful. From collection one, it's definitely the most powerful fragrance in my opinion. Mm, I really love this. And our keynotes here are red apple, rose de mai, jasmine, and patchouli and vanilla. It's a really, really beautiful fragrance. I've started wearing it again recently because I kind of like because I'm working on fragrances all the time, I always like wear the samples that I'm working on. So recently I picked up Elixir and I was like, why did I stop wearing this? It's so beautiful. Love it. The next brand I'm going to spotlight is called Frederick Mall, and I have the Dawn here and Rose and Cure. I don't have the Night, which is like one of the most popular Arabian fragrances from this brand. I don't have it here today. It's at my house, but I definitely want to spotlight this brand because I do think that the founder who I've met, who's so sweet, such a nice guy, I think he actually creates also for the Middle East. All of his fragrances, um, they actually even have Arabic writing on them, but they're very like Middle Eastern style, and a lot of my friends here here love his brand like they just love it and it's super like long-lasting very powerful the concentrations are crazy high like I think even higher than Kayali yeah they're just really beautiful fragrances I also think he's super innovative he was one of the first brands to include the nose's name on his bottle so I just think it's really cool for him to give the noses credit because a lot of people don't and I just think putting it on the actual bottle is so cool so definitely want to highlight this brand these two fragrances are gorgeous the dawn is probably a little bit more Middle Eastern rose and cure is Middle Eastern but I think a little bit more global but I always feel like when rose and leather together are mixed it does give me like oody vibes even though it, I don't think there's oud in here but let me check we have geranium black currant shiswan pepper leather rose vetiver and cedar so they haven't listed oud I didn't think there was oud but it has like a smoky effect I think from like the leather and the rose and just yeah, it's just, it's very like smoky and like sexy. So for the Dawn, which is more Middle Eastern style, we have Turkish Rose, Pink Pepper, ooh, Oli Benham, Oud, Lebedevan, Vetiver, and Okma. So yeah, we definitely have Oud in here, I thought so. It's really, really very nice, very beautiful, very Middle Eastern princess or prince. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. My part one to my favorite fragrances that make me feel like an Arabian princess or prince. And guys, please make sure if I have missed out some of your recommendations, please comment down below. I always want to know what you guys are smelling. I love discovering new fragrances. I love adding them to my collection. So please let me know and I'll try to include it in one of our next videos.